I think for the woman who engages in, or the wife that engages in conflict in a way that is, is disrespectful, I think we have to ask ourselves really hard questions about what is it about my husband that I don't respect, that I don't value, right? Let me ask you a question, though. Is it always about the husband? I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> so, so because it, it could be that he has moved in a certain way that you haven't acknowledged and that you haven't confronted. And so, for example, it could be that the husband, you know, you feel like he's lazy. And because he's lazy, it's, you haven't confronted the laziness. Yeah. And so it's coming out all the time and mm-hmm. like you being mad about the dishes or you being mad about him coming home late or you being, but you're really not mad at that. You're yeah. mad at his lack of diligence. Yeah, yeah. And so I think sometimes you have to, you have to ask yourself really hard questions about what is it that I don't, I don't appreciate. I don't respect. Let me deal with that. Let me take that before the Lord. Let me, let me, let me ask God to be a bomb, to be a healer. And then let me have an honest conversation with my husband and say, Hey, these behaviors are affecting my respect mm. and I want to respect you. I want to value you, but I, I it's, it, that is making it hard for me. Right. Yeah. I, and, and then y'all could talk and figure it out. Um, I think a lot other times it's not nothing. The man did. It's just your own heart. Yeah. You know, your own heart, like power feels good. Mm. Disrespect is natural. Love is supernatural. And so it takes love and a softened, humble heart to be able to communicate a truth in a way that lands and is received well, you know? And so like, I think, I think at the end of the day, we have to understand that God's command to love our neighbors as better than ourselves also applies to our spouses. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Com- including our communication. Facts. <laughs> answer, answer, answer this question because I've, 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 I've known a lot of men and I know a lot of men who avoid conflict with their spouses because they just they just don't want to deal with the sharp words from their wife. Yeah. And women have this ability <laughs> to just always throw little daggers out there, just disrespectful little things, jabs. little jabs that's going to set a man off in a way. Interesting. And so explain to us what is the process of a, of a woman who who sometimes it's hard for them to to deal with their significant other without just being really loose at the mouth and being mean and being mean that's mean yeah yeah one i think some of us were raised under women that were like that mm we we saw our mothers be disrespectful discipleship we saw our mothers be undermining to to men and th- that when we saw our mothers live that way, it usually came because they suffered at the hands of men. They were abused emotionally, mm. verbally, spiritually, physically. And so, of course, they don't have any respect. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so sometimes the language is a sometimes the language is a signpost that you're not finna disrespect. You're not finna disrespect me. I'm not a weak woman. It's It's a very insecure way to signal power Mm. um but i i think that's one factor i think another factor is we just gotta be it takes humility i I keep saying humility it takes humility to say yeah you know what when you did x y and z it hurt my feelings you know what i'm saying that 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 hurts to say so instead of just saying that i'm gonna just be mean to you like and and i just i don't i don't i need women to know that doesn't work like tearing down a man's masculinity will never make your marriage better. 